Welcome. This is Barry Jones from Angelic Wisdom, and we're here for our monthly angel scope for the sign of cancer for the month of October 2023. So as we begin, I just like to thank everyone who's returning to this monthly series and to also welcome anyone who's new to our Angelic Wisdom community. Just a few reminders, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, select the all notification bell, like, dislike, and leave your comments. Um, if you are feeling called during the process of this reading to have an angel reading with me, you can go to my current website, theangelschool.com slash services. If you just like to donate to my channel, um, any amount that you offer will be greatly appreciated. And you will be able to find my PayPal me link as well as any other link I'm mentioning in the description area below this video. The um, other bit of information I want you to be aware of is if you haven't seen the monthly general reading for October 2023, make sure that you check out the very first link uh, below because that will lead you directly to that video. And um, I think you should really see it because it will really help us to understand what's going on in this month for the collective. Also, um, the format in before us, um, the card in the center underneath the uh, Cancer card will be the message and the Archangel that you'll be working with this month. The cards on either side are messages from your guardian angel, and um, the left will represent the unconscious or subconscious um, frequencies, energies, lessons, or things that are shaping what we're experiencing in the day-to-day -day awareness of the minor arcana. And hopefully this will teach us how to work with it and um, in order to heal or sort of shift the energy. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath together. We just really let go and relax your body with each breath. And the angels are showing me a table. It's sort of, um, it feels like it's like a patio or like a sunroom um, extension. And when I always see tables, I always say that I was prepared a table before me. However, this feels like a, um, like again, like a, a, a workspace um, where you can just really be, uh, do any type of creative projects um, and just sort of execute them as sort of like your like your own lab or workshop. Um, I saw the word presto. So this is, of course, you know, for meaning something that happens instantly. Um, maybe when you get into the space, you just instantly just sort of get into that creative mode and um, and into the flow. Now I'm sort of seeing sort of two deers sort of leaning, uh, like bookends, leaning bookends on either side of a road. And so my first thought was sort of gentleness and um, in terms of your process of working as the gentleness is a softening of, of um, criticism. So, or it, it's just like a softening frequency that doesn't allow criticism to really um, have somewhere to to kind of anchor itself because it's so subtle. It's it's like you're here, but you're not there. You're in between worlds, right? And so you're in this sort of intuitive process where it's just really about instincts and intuition and just playing with energy and and seeing this energy of love, the power of love, right? We're talking about that in another video. Um, it's the law of attraction, which causes things to manifest. It's love that attracts and fear 
that detracts. There's only one way to love. There's only one way to attract, to manifest, and that is through love. What we seemingly are attracting through fear is all the things we don't want. So that's why fear detracts. Because instead of getting what you want, you do get what you don't want. And so you're you're and you have this opportunity this month, Cancer, to really um sort of they I write saw the word sing. Like uh it feels like life just flows. So, you know, so singing is an extension of speaking, but it's a, it's super in the flow, right? That's what makes singing possible. It's all about vibration and resonance and um and power, compassion, you know, um, expressiveness. So you, you're, it feels like, you know, you're going to be really be able to express what you want. It's, they're writing the word magical in front of me. It's a magical month for you. But you got to stay, be gentle, compassionate in the way that you work. Because one will inspire love and the or the other will provoke fear. Tract or detract. Oops, when I turned the wrong card. And this card has come up the third time. So I did it. We'll see what goes on here with the Archangel that you're working with. Okay, so this is Archangel Felier. And this archangel talks about honoring animals and communicating with different species. So for me, this is about you being really in tune with sentient life, especially um, all of the animals and, and creatures on our planet, of the various species on our planet. And these incredible beings already have, they're already attuned into these higher dimensions and into these subtle frequencies in which are often, um, we're often distracted, our attention is just distracted away from them and so we miss the signs because we're they said you we need to release we need to release all of the the stuff that's bothering us our fears love will love will get you what you want far faster and far more in a far more fulfilling way than your fears would ever be able to do. One does and the other one doesn't. And so this is kind of interesting because I think of the uh, high priest, uh, the, the high priest or the hierophant as one who, um, who, who, who brings the wisdom and the insights of the other world to the masses or through his um, gifts in the outer world. So it's it's sort of like um, the high priestess invites us to go within. But the high priest sort of exposes the hidden realm, brings it, reveals the hidden realm, reveals wisdom, reveals it insights and clarity. So he's connected to both realities because his ultimate is expression and the high priestess is impression, meaning she's drawing us in and taking in what's happening and processing it through from within 
through our internal guidance system. So you need, Archangel Ophelia is sort of giving you, and this is the first time I think I'm actually understanding his, his card and his energy as he speaks to all of us beyond just the animal kingdom, but he's bringing us the knowledge and wisdom of the animal kingdom. And that is, is that we need now to tune into the world through our spiritual capacities, to tune into the world, not tune out of it in order to get all of the spiritual wisdom, but to tune in to the world and bring through the healing, the wisdom, the teachings, the understanding, the, the projects of love. Your everything, when you, whatever you do out of love that is attracted through the power of love is a spiritual attunement. Whatever you're bringing in has a, will have a spiritual effect for the best and highest good they're writing of everyone in the physical world. You are bringing a sort of a special healing to the world. So they really want you, the Ace of Water, to really tune in to your clairsentience, your psychic, your abilities, your emotional um wow there's a word coming out but i won't i can't get it through it, it's it's an emotional sensory ability you can feel things from hundreds of miles away if you really start tuning in to the world more tuning in to nature and the animals great or small. And you might find that you might encounter more of them, even the pesty ones, right? But they're all messengers. They have come, the animals have come in to learn lessons, specific lessons, that um, there, there are the lessons, this is why animals are so important to us, because they have come in to learn things like, you know, cooperation, um, some family, you know, they come in to do, to, to, to tune into these lessons, but they are, they remain tuned in, like fully tuned in, in their journey. So imagine like, the powerful impact of their um, their lessons on us. That's why nature has such a profound impact on us when we connect, when we are out in nature. It the healing potency is so in, intense because of their always tuned in they're always tuned in to the physical physical world to the light and the love nature of this reality because what they're tuned into is source because it was love that created all of this that we see it is love that set up this matrix of experience for us to enjoy but as humans, we are not always tuned in. We are not actually the most stable of species. We are constantly fluctuating, but at the same time, we have more free will and free choice. And that's the compromise. So we're all perfectly being who we are supposed to be. But we have the capacity to be all of what exists. 
And so that's what we're striving for now. And you have the ability to really channel and bring through your divine essence in a magical way this month where things can really start to take shape or launch for you in incredible ways. This is an opportunity for you to have a, a prolific experience. I just wrote music. Maybe for some of you, if you're a musician, you might have these really great performances where you just feel like you're just tapped in and, or you're writing and you're just, you know, you're creating wonderful stories and it's just flowing. The, the idea is that the element of water and moon, you're just going to be sort of in that flow. You're going to be in your element for some reason. All right, so I send you lots of love and angel blessings and have a beautiful month, Cancers. God bless you.